Happy New Year from Fairbanks, Alaska. This is going to be short as we're about 70 degrees warmer than we were two weeks ago, and I'm planning on getting out and doing a little snow machining and shooting with my kids later today. But there are a few important things we need to talk about before we enter 2013. First, the fiscal cliff. In my opinion, it's an absolute charade. The supposed deal doesn't even involve spending cuts. For crying out loud, no spending cuts? And Obama says he wants to save the middle class? What a charlatan. He and most of Congress are guaranteeing by their actions the death of the middle class. I, I just ask you, what's happened to U.S. growth since we've been hobbled by debt? You and I both know it's stagnated. And who's that hurting? You and I. And how about net worth? We're almost 40% down in three years. So how's that Obama protection working out middle class? In fact, Americans' household net worth is now at a 43-year low. Canadians are now wealthier than Americans for the first time in modern history. And guess what? All those politicians now saying they'll take a salary freeze, they're hypocrites. While our net worth has plummeted over the last three years, theirs has skyrocketed. Do you know that the average net worth of a U.S. Senator is between 10 and $20 million? Or how about Congress? The average member of Congress is a millionaire. Or do you know that 2% of Congress comes from a working class background? Everybody else is from that elite ruling class. And these folk are guarding the hen house, refusing to responsibly address debt. Well, save the few that are part of that Tea Party caucus. Well, it's time for us in the middle class to get smart. The debt is going to destroy us, and both parties are making sure of that. I met with Senator Tom Coburn two weeks ago. He suggests that the American experiment could actually collapse within the next two years. Why? Because the debt bomb is going to explode and destroy every dollar you and I own. Who suffers? The middle class. We will be destroyed, and along with us, the republic, unless something is done quickly and fundamentally. Will our millionaire federal masters get real in 2013? Probably not. So here's my advice to you. Turn your dollars into tangible goods that can get you through tough times. Vote against every establishment politician on the ticket when the vote comes. And don't you ever, no matter how tyrannical your government becomes, ever give up your guns. So stand firm, keep the faith, and prepare for a rocky new year.